Kia Tamariki. What's up, guys? This is a photo of the department building in Masterton, which is a modernist office block built in the 60s. The colours we're using in the first instance is ultramarine blue and black. Here I've uh, rubbed these colours over the paper with a damp rag. This gives us a mid-tone. The lines of the building I drew up using an ink pen, so that means that this process doesn't remove it, so you can still see those lines when it's dry. Here I'm adding the uh, white around the uh, letters and around the window frames. Um, the thicker the white, the lighter the colour is, so if you want it more white, give it several coats. Using a straight edge, a plastic spatula in this instance, go around the outside and then we can fill in the middle and it makes it quite a fast way of painting. You can use a ruler uh, or you can just paint around the black lines and fill it in. For the areas there, I don't want it to be quite as white, I've watered it down a bit there to indicate a, more of a grey tone. Um, for blocking in these other windows, I've used ultramarine blue, black, a little bit of white to make it opaque. Um, I've mixed up the grey, which is the blue, black and a bit of white, just to cut around these window frames where the tone is in between the white and the dark. Um, you can see I'm using a straight edge to do all those lines, and here I'm blending in a little bit of the grey behind the pole on those uh, sort of rough cast surfaces. I've lightened up some reflections on the couple of windows above the department sign and darkened them below, just adding in some dark tones here to give those reflections a little bit more shape and some highlights on the pole. Yeah, the highlights go there. So part of this project is to combine ideas together a um, little bit of uh, painting, a bit of ink work, a bit of printmaking. Uh, I decided to put a superhero in one of the windows. So it's a Superman, same process, draw it up with uh, ink pen outlines and paint in the different tones. And while I'm doing this, I'm thinking, what could I put in the other windows? Hopefully using things from previous tasks we've done. So I think I might put in another comic element because those square windows look a bit like a comic strip and hopefully I'll put in part of a, a marble sculpture that we've done as well. So here I've added in uh, an element from a Commando comic, a uh, Hurricane Fighter. So uh, I'm inking in with a brush this time, with brush and Indian ink, because the uh, quite high contrast image, so I want quite a lot of the dark. So it's easier using a brush with ink than using a pen at this point.
I decided to add colour to the lower part of the plane on the dark background, partly because it was difficult to see with the outlines, but I think it gives it a sort of a positive negative feel. So I decided to add in an arm from Michelangelo's David where I've uh, transferred it on with transfer paper and now I'm going to paint in the silhouette using uh, burnt umber, same as we did with the um, dry brush uh, sculpture. So I'm using the same technique here, dry brushing with a, a small bristle brush. So I'm just putting the white over the top of the brown. Uh, each time you give it a coat it gets lighter. Um, and I haven't used any black yet, so I'm just letting that dark brown come through as the dark tones at the moment. I can add a little bit of black later if I want to darken areas. But it's a matter of building up a layer on top of a layer. The whiter you want it, more paint. So part of the forearm needs to be lighter, and you'll see that I'm adding in some little detail bits there, veins and things like that, and, and lighter areas. So I've gone backwards and forwards a bit here with dark and light, just a small synthetic brush, just adding in some little highlights and areas that might need to be dark, particularly around the, the fingers. Uh, right, so then I decided in one of the squares I'd put in a kind of a pop image. So this is Marilyn Monroe blowing a bubble. It brings in the uh, bubble gum bubble that we did earlier on. And I posterised the image and now I'm just painting in those different tones. I think that the pop image goes with the comic strip elements in the windows. Uh, a lot of pop artists from the 60s were influenced by comic books as well as consumer objects or popular images. Marilyn Monroe of course was uh, the most photographed person in her day. The last element I added was the Poe. This is from the Tiori Ori Marae. Uh, I lay it on the side because it sort of fitted into the space better. You could use it as a caryatid figure holding up the um, design if you want to. Just blocking it in with uh, cool red, warm red, uh, yellow oxide to make it lighter, ultramarine blue to make the red darker. Just building up layers so that it becomes a solid looking form, leaving gaps for the, the tattoo or carved marks. Mukumiki. <laughs> 